So, China sent me some gifts apparently. At least that's what it says on the uh, customs declaration. So let's see what they are. In this box we've got apparently lantern shaped LED lamp. And in this one we have an apparently clear LED lamp. But I know that this is blue. So I bought these both from uh, from DX.com and total was quite reasonable I suppose for uh, LED lighting but the main reason why I bought these is because I'm interested in this style of LED filament which are basically a row of something like 20 something LEDs all along these individual strips and you can get them in various colours apparently I mean, the only one on DX.com for this one was blue. Apparently there's also red ones, green ones, yellow ones. And all the uh, other colours available in other LEDs. So the prices that I paid for these two bulbs. This one was £6.08. And this one, £5.73. Uh, I don't know what that is in US or Canadian dollars or any other currency. But check out DX.com. I'll stick a link in the book the uh, description below and you can check them out yourselves. Anyway, enough talk, light them up. So this one is apparently 3000 Kelvin in colour temperature but I think more it's maybe 25 to 2700 as you'll see now. And as you can see it's got a 50 Hertz you know, flicker to it. Hence you've got all these waves going down the screen. That's annoying. So I think it's probably only just something like a resistive dropper in there rather than a switch mode supply. So I mean, you can see that in the base they've actually marked like in Sharpie or something like the positive negative terminals. So there's probably not much in that base but unlike BigClive.com I'm not taking this apart. That's the other one. This one I like. It is an exceptionally intense blue. Let's just knock off these two lights. It's very, very blue. And as you can see, no 50 hertz flicker because it's got a decent uh, power supply in the base, which apparently is 85 volts to 265 volts. So perfect for use in like the US and Canada and you know, Australia or wherever. Oh, I forgot to turn my lights back on. So, this doesn't really have much use, but I do like it because it's blue. This one, if it had the same power supply in the base as that one, this would be nice as a, a decorative light. I forgot to do the uh, colour comparison. Yeah, it's not as nice. Considering the shape and size of it, it's pretty neat, but with that flicker, no, I don't like it. And compare it to one of the bulbs, which is what's in the two lamps up here, which is just a Philips Tornado CFL. I mean, that's a nice white lamp. So that's my brief review of two LED filament lamps. I've got some more on the way from banggood.com, I'll probably review them when I get them, but we'll see what uh, turns up. Just because I can, because I've got one of these 4 into one adapters, I've got the two lit up at the same time. And one thing I've noticed about this bulb is it seems to be putting out a lot of UV light, because the case on my mobile phone seems to be glowing quite a lot. Now if I unscrew that... You can see it goes relatively dark, but connect it back up and my case is glowing again. So just like uh, one of them UV black light tubes is putting out enough light to uh, cause plastics like this to glow. So do be careful of that. 
Another thing about this bulb, aside from the uh, flickeriness, I've noticed that the glass seems to be a bit discoloured. Put a white background on there. You can see that the glass actually has a kind of brown tint to it, like uh, they've overheated the glass or something, or it's impregnated with something that's scorched. Because I don't know how well you can see that, but there's a big patch of something going on there. So I don't think the glass has been blown too well. So. I think that's just a manufacturing defect, but I mean, there's a few things going on in there which probably just won't be able to pick on camera. But there's like bits of fluff in there, and there's a piece of glass attached to one of the uh, the filaments. So it's not perfect. It's not going to be something that you can buy like from B and Q or something, even though they probably just buy the same stuff. But yeah, yeah, I only bought them to play about with. So it's nothing serious.